Good evening, everyone. I'm Lexi Blair, and your host for this evening's red carpet arrival. We've got glitz and glamour and so much more ahead. Tonight is the finals of the Miss West Virginia and Miss West Virginia's teen competition. We have had two nights of preliminaries, but tonight is the night we crown Miss West Virginia and Miss West Virginia's teen. Who will she be? Perhaps she's in this first group of contestants. The success group has just arrived on the red carpet. Could the next Miss West Virginia be among them? Here they come now. These ladies are looking lovely tonight and their red carpet best. We've got all of their loving family and friends here supporting them tonight. What a beautiful occasion this is. These gowns are stunning as well as the women wearing them. Each one of our ladies competed in the evening gown competition and they look just beautiful tonight. Arriving now is Miss West Virginia 2017 Tamia Hardy. She is looking just stunning as always. Tamia, it is so incredible to see you here tonight. Can you tell us about the scholarship that you awarded on Thursday night? Yes, the Diversity and Inclusion Scholarship. Being the first big black Miss West Virginia, I'm just really blessed to be a part of a scholarship that advocates for diversity and inclusion. That's amazing. Tamia, amazing to see you as always. You look beautiful. There are four points on the crown and style is one of them. Here comes the style group and don't they just look amazing tonight. Here they come, they look stunning. What do you guys think out there? Do they look great tonight? What an awesome opportunity for our contestants to feel like they're in the spotlight because once they go on the stage, they certainly are, but out here, they get that special moment, and you can really see sisterhood shining through here tonight. It's just so beautiful to watch and see them. They just look so stunning. And here they come, looking beautiful as ever, I may add. I just know they're so excited and eager to get tonight's competition underway. All week they've been preparing and tonight is the night where they get to put it all out on the stage during the competition. We have a very special guest, but first I see our teens making their way down the red carpet. This looks like the service group arriving. One of these young women may just be the next Miss West Virginia's teen, and they are surely shining bright tonight. Beautiful ladies. Arriving now is Miss West Virginia's teen, 2018, Caitlin Bocchetti Shields. She looks beautiful as ever, and it is so good to have us have her here with us tonight, all the way from New York City, where she now lives. You look beautiful, Caitlin. And now we have some more people coming up the red carpet. Hello, welcome, welcome. And now we have some of our Forever Miss West Virginia's Diane Barnett Law, Miss West Virginia 1970, and Lynette Cobert Anderson, Miss West Virginia 1972. Let's make some noise for them. They look stunning. You ladies look lovely. Enjoy yourselves tonight. You look beautiful. <laughs> yes. years of. I love it. Sisterhood is on display right now. I love it. Ladies, have a wonderful night. Welcome, hey ladies. And next up, coming down the red carpet, we have our Miss West Virginia's team, Savita Hooper. You look lovely, Savita. Let's chat for a second. What are you most excited for tonight, Savita? It's good to see who's crowned. You know, it's gonna be a great year for them and they're gonna have so many fond memories from this experience, as I do. And it's gonna be great for them. That's amazing. Well, you've surely had an amazing rain, so have a great time tonight, and we'll see you inside. Thank you, Shavita. 
It takes a lot of support for this week to happen. In case you were wondering, the contestants stayed together at a host hotel, the Holiday Inn Martinsburg. All of their meals are donated by local restaurants. The Mar Martinsburg Berkeley County community has been so good to the Miss West Virginia organization. And here comes the scholarship group for the teen contestants. Don't they look amazing? I know we've got some proud parents out in the audience tonight. And family members, let's make some noise for them. And now we're gonna give a shout out to some of our sponsors. Martinsburg Berkeley County Convention and Visitors Bureau, the West Virginia Lottery, Dutch Miller Auto Group, the Miller Team Coldwell Bankers. And arriving right now with me is Carrie Safford Blankenship, Miss West Virginia 1996. Carrie is the promotions manager for the West Virginia Lottery. Carrie, you've been so supportive of this program for so many years. Can you tell us why? Well, it's, it's very important to me because um, it guided me to, to where I am today. And with the lottery, um, a portion of our, our, our beneficiary is education. So scholarship, it just makes sense. And I'm proud to be able to do what we can for the Miss West Virginia organization. That's incredible. Scholarship is certainly continuing in your legacy. Thank you so much, Carrie. Have a wonderful time tonight. And next up, we have Kayla Garcia, Miss West Virginia 2008, coming down the red carpet. You look beautiful tonight. Have a great time inside. And from Philadelphia, we see Madeline Collins, Miss West Virginia 2018, making her way down the red carpet. You look stunning tonight. And here comes Miss West Virginia 1963, Karen Childers Pauly. Karen is celebrating the 60th anniversary of her crowning. Congratulations, first of all, Karen. What an amazing accomplishment. How do you feel tonight? I feel very honored and excited to be here sharing this event with all of you. Yes, can you give some advice to some of the contestants tonight on what they can expect for this night ahead? No. <laughs> There's certainly no preparing for it. It's just you gotta, it's a surprise. Yes. Yes, well thank you so much. Congratulations again. Have a wonderful night. And I see next coming down the red carpet. They just got their picture together and I love seeing them. It is Jalen Ratchford, Miss West Virginia 2021 and Olivia Travis, Miss West Virginia's team 2021. Ladies, how great is it to be back together here tonight? It's great. We're so blessed that our journeys aligned, and we can't wait to see whose journeys begin tonight. This sisterhood is the best thing this organization gave us. Well, we can all see that tonight. So, ladies, have a wonderful time. Thank you for all you've contributed to the Miss West Virginia organization. Have a wonderful night, ladies. And next up, coming down the red carpet, is the executive director of the Miss West Virginia organization, Shelly Nichols Franklin, and Donna Newman, the teen director for the Miss West Virginia organization. Ladies, you look stunning tonight. How excited are you both to be here? Very excited. Yes, we can't wait to crown the new Miss West Virginia. And new, yes, yes, Miss West Virginia's team. So excited. And you know what? You have the dynamic duo here. We do, yes. I love it. You ladies look beautiful. Thank you for stopping by. Go ahead and head on inside, and we're ready to start an incredible night, but not before I see a couple more people making their way down the red carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss West Virginia has arrived. Elizabeth Lynch, you look amazing tonight. Can you tell me how exciting tonight is, but yet it's bittersweet at the same time? It definitely is very bittersweet, but I'm so excited to see who the next Miss West Virginia will be. I've already met her, we know her, we love her in this crowd, um, so I can't wait to see what kind of history she makes in West Virginia. Beautiful, thank you so much, Elizabeth, for all of your service you've given to West Virginia, and we will never forget you. Can we give, up, give it up for Elizabeth Lynch one more time? Amazing, and we will see you inside, Elizabeth. Thank you. All right, how's everyone doing out here tonight? If you are just now tuning in, we are live here at the red carpet for the Miss West Virginia competition happening tonight. And we have seen some beautiful people come down the red carpet. I've got some more people right here now. And I've got Bethany Lodeski from and she 
She is Miss West Virginia's team 2008. Bethany's mom owns the Queen's Choice, and they are one of our sponsors. You have an amazing support, and thank you so much for your support you give to this organization. Can you share a few words with us? Um, sure, yeah. So um, we took over the store about a year ago in Morgantown, and we are so excited to be a sponsor tonight and um, dress the next winner. So we're so excited about that. And I also have my friend Paige Madden, Miss West Virginia 2014, coming down the red carpet with me. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. You both look stunning tonight. And next up, coming down the red carpet is Morgan Breeden Branch, Miss West Virginia 2016, and Allison Williams Wilson, Miss West Virginia 2003. Hi, ladies, you look beautiful. They both represented Jefferson County. And here comes Tiffany Lawrence, and I love it. She's got her princesses signing autographs. She is the director of the Miss West Virginia Princess organization, and she just does a wonderful job with those girls, helping them out throughout the week, giving them crafts, and just being a great mentor for these young ladies. And here she comes now. She looks stunning. Hello, Tiffany. Good to see you here tonight. And now I'm really excited to announce this. Our judges have arrived on the red carpet. And might I add, they have the toughest job here tonight. And that is deciding our next Miss West Virginia and our next Miss West Virginia team. There is so much on the line tonight. So this job is not to be taken lightly. I know that they're probably excited but anxious to get tonight started because the stage is filled with so many incredible young women tonight. So I can't wait to see how tonight unfolds. They all look incredible coming down the red carpet. I love it. And we're gonna get to chat with them here in just a second. Hello everyone, how are you? Wayne, right? How are you doing tonight? How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Can you tell us tonight and the audience at home and everyone here what you're looking for as a judge? Well, there are beautiful women in West Virginia, talented, and West Virginia has made this Cajun boy feel right at home. I love it. Thank you so much. I'd love to hear from another one of you. Agnes, what is something that you're looking for tonight as a judge? Just looking for somebody that is going to represent West Virginia to the best of her ability and, and the best possible way possible. Thank you so much, Agnes. I love it. And that gives our viewers at home something to look at. And yes, Gary, you are here from Shepherdstown. Jerry, yes, you are here from Shepherdstown. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is like being in Shepherdstown? I love Shepherdstown and I want to invite you all to the Contemporary American Theater Festival opening on July 9th. And go Mountaineers! Amazing. Thank you all so much. Thank you for the job that you play in Miss West Virginia. We will see you inside. Thank you so much. All right. So next up, we want to give a shout out to Parsons Ford, who provided the transportation for our judges this week, making sure that they are riding around in style and safely getting to all of their destinations. And right now we have some more sponsors to thank. Center for Orthopedic Excellence. Vanity Aesthetics and Medical Spa, State Farm, K. Lewis Agent. And now I get to welcome someone to the red carpet who has been hosting us all weekend long. And now I get to interview him for a second. Aqua Danso, welcome to the Miss West Virginia red carpet. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I just want to say, Lexi, you're killing it. And I look forward to watching you next year do this. I'm just going to call it now. Lexi's going to be your host. Gosh, I, I like this duo team. I like being behind the scenes. And I like you on the stage, Aqua. Yeah. I love it. Yes, thank you all for coming. Aqua, can you give the ladies tonight some advice going into the competition? Have fun, remember to breathe, and enjoy the moment. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Aqua. We will see you inside. Wow, it has been such a great week here at Airborne. We have a few more guests arriving, and right now are some of our Miss West Virginia princesses looking beautiful and amazing. Let's make some noise for them. They look stunning. Girls, can I ask one of you, what has been your favorite part of this entire week leading up to Miss West Virginia? Today, the, the final competition. Well, girls, you look beautiful, you're shining bright 
on the stage and in life. So thank you so much. Have fun tonight. You all look stunning. Have so much fun. Well, we're having a great time. What an incredible turnout for this first red carpet for the Miss West Virginia competition. I want to thank everyone again for coming out early before the competition. And right now, on the red carpet, we have the executive producer for the Miss West Virginia competition, Candy Reed, Miss West Virginia 1981. Candy, it's been a long road getting here. Can you tell us what it feels like to be standing here tonight? Well, we start, as soon as this one's over, we take about a week off. And yeah, and um, we start. And it's amazing then to see it all come to life. I announced in the orientation that our theme would be bold, bright, beautiful, and everybody thought, okay, that sounds nice. But when you see it on the stage, you see the ladies in the opening number in red, you see the graphics, it all comes together, and I couldn't be more proud of the young women competing. And that's why we do this. We're here to showcase the brightest uh, and the best that West Virginia has. I'm just thrilled to be here tonight. Candy, thank you so much. You do so much for this organization, and you are shining. The sun is coming through, shining bright on you tonight. Thank you, and we'll see you inside. And next up, we have artistic director Thad Reed coming down the carpet, and he plays such a big role in making the visuals come to life for this competition. Thad, what can you tell the viewers at home and the people standing here what they can expect from tonight? Really big show tonight, really colorful show tonight. Uh, we're happy everyone's here. We're happy for the final night. We're looking forward to some really good competition. I'd also like to ask Lexi, how does it feel being the voice of Miss West Virginia for the first time? Wow. <laughs> oh, that I don't take so. Oh, I don't take this job lightly. So to be able to be surrounded by so many incredible young women and people who put this all together and make the magic happen. I'm just honored to be here, and I'm thankful for what the future has in store. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank, Thank you, Thad. Well, it's been so much fun chatting here tonight and seeing the beautiful young women who will take the stage, and we will soon find out who the next Miss West Virginia and Miss West Virginia's team will be. Who is she gonna be? We'll find out soon.